I call it Franklin. Aretha Franklin. <laughs> So, tubes, what are we working on today? I'll show you what we're working on today. Let me get you up here so you get a better viewpoint. What's going on? I'm so sad. I should have painted this stuff before I put it in, but look, it's all, it's honk, honk. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I didn't get it too dirty under here, uh, splashing up the mud puddles. Mud puddles, oh my god. So what we're doing today is we we got a we got a, a thing, a, a token of appreciation slash Christmas gift from Todd Boak. Thanks again, buddy, and you're welcome for the efforts that I provided in getting your Bronco going. So he supplied me with this. It's actually a Summit Racing vacuum pump. It's this one is I think is an eBay item, which is cool. I did test that; works really good. Um, uh, yeah, I, I just, it's, I mean, the last vacuum pump, I, I, I did have an electric vacuum pump on this truck, but I removed it because it, the motor burned out on it because I had a vacuum leak over here in my HVAC system, HVAC system. I've since fixed that leak, and I don't think it'll be an issue. However, the pump went out, and I didn't want to spend another $300 for the pump, and so, um, this opportunity came up so I got this now um, I've had it you know I'll clean I'll probably clean it up and throw some racing sticker out now I'm kidding it's actually kind of nice that it doesn't have stickers on it I do kind of like that because um, even though I'd like to put stickers on stuff sometimes in key places but um, this one we're gonna leave just bare and uh, so um, yeah anyways I kind of got my hoses laid out and I heard new hoses too. Now this whole vacuum pump thing can apply to um, if you have a gas engine and you put a cam in it and you don't make vacuum wor worth the damn. Oh yeah, that's nice. Uh, I just want to keep it from hitting the exhaust. So I'll probably put a little shield here on it and then tie it to this heater hose. Um, and I bought a few things to make this work. I didn't spend very much on this. Uh, 23 bucks for this. I'm just after the, um, yeah, this whole thing. I, I, I'm debating on whether I want to run that into the cab or not. I, uh, I kind of want to make this. Um, I was thinking of making the switched. That's how Todd has his setup. He has a switch and he has his own thing going on. I think I'm going to just put this back as being an automatic turn on where I turn the key on and it's, it's good to go. Um, so we'll be using the alternator wiring harness here for this. At a later time, I probably will make this switched, and I'm going to make an actual um, electrical uh, switch panel that's going to go on my truck, and we'll use it to control stuff like this, and uh, secret switches for the ignition pump, the ignition pump, oh my god, the injection pump on this thing. Um, just make it a little bit more, uh, 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 slightly less user-friendly for people who you know don't know about the switches and don't know how to get things going and and then you can't steal it and I bought this coupler here to um, hook our two hoses together so we'll need that so we'll just hook this in here oh excellent I may go and get some clamps so that I can make sure that none of this stuff is going to leak because I don't, I don't want vacuum leaks. Um, so I think my vacuum pump is going to live here. Now, you really don't need a reservoir, but I'm going to leave this reservoir in. And yeah, I know, this is not the Ford reservoir. This is a larger one from a Chevy S10. This is the only, actually the second Chevy part that I have in here. Uh, which, you know, eh, 
But as a joke, I purposely bought this and put it in here. Plus, my old one was trashed. It had a big uh, melt spot because a wire in here had made some contact when it didn't need to be making contact. So, so anyways, put our vacuum pump right here. And then that way, this guy here, he's all in line with all the electrical stuff. So you know we're, we're, we're doing all right and there's less wiring I don't want any wires going that way over to the other side and into the cab or anything like that kind of want to keep this thing as clean as possible you know but it won't be perfect so we'll mark out where we want to put this guy also one thing I want to make sure that my bolts that I got fit I just kind of guesstimated good to go only cost me two bucks for the bolts wow just guessing just guessing that that's that's the right size bolt right there I'm happy about that <clears throat> and I apologize for the sniffling I'm getting over a cold so I kind of put this together I couldn't find a T that's a three eighths, three eighths, three eighths, and then a quarter. Um, so I'm kind of forcing this vacuum line over this. Hopefully it doesn't become an issue. I may have to get some reducers for that. I kind of don't want to, but this is what I was going for here. The motor to the left, you have vacuum and exhaust. We're also going to run another hose um, from here down to the bottom. Uh, that way we can minimize some noise. Ah, my nose. So, we're going to take this guy here. He's going to come down like that. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Now this pump, uh, he ordered it few days ago and it was uh, estimated to get here um, like Wednesday the 9th and it's like the 6th and I got it yesterday I was like awesome oh yeah there we go hell yeah I'll just zip tie this to an injection line here I'll show you that in a second I'm going right in between my valve covers and the engine. I almost wonder if I could just sneak that right in between the engine block. Eh, I'll save that for later. So we have plenty of slack for uh, engine movement, all that good stuff. Okay, I made a mark. Get rid of that piece of paper. Now we go hog wild. We just board a some bitch out. And then hope the spacing's right. Because if it's not, it's like frank, 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 frank. I love these plastic fenders. I really do. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bigger bit here. Alright. Cable guy it and Did a little bit of drinking last night, so well I kinda wanted to make a hungover, slightly hungover video. I got my coffee here. Yeah I know. Would you like some coffee with that milk? That's actually half and half. That's decaf and uh, and caffeinated. And uh, I call that double half kneecap I and mean, I got that name from Mad TV and I think that's what they were going for too. Yep, yeah, everything's eleven, it's awesome. So I'm not going to go too tight, I just want to make sure my bolts are all the way into the nylon. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just going to make a new ground and I'll probably just, I'll just run it over to the negative on the battery. I kind of want to have all this um, tied in directly to the battery um, because I don't want any shenanigans of, oh, well, this one connection has just a little bit too much resistance, you know? And, 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 yeah. I don't think I really needed to cut this open, but I think it was either way. So this is kind of a, a headlight wiring kit kind of thing, but hey, as long as it delivers the electric elect electrons to the thing in my jigger, we're good to go. So, I mean, this this even has a whole connector and everything. Nice. So we get some stuff. Headlights. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna figure this out real quick, and then I'm gonna tell you what I've come up with. So this is what this is our relay section. Okay. I am back. I'm doing direct power all the time from the battery to the pump. Direct power. What I'm doing is I'm switching the ground. So this ground here, we're going to cut this little spade end off and then we're going to tie in a new wire and he's going to come over and I'm probably going to, if I can, I'm going to find a connector that will get soldered in and then it will get here and then they'll, they'll plug in and then we're good to go. This guy here, I'm probably gonna cut a chunk out and then re-solder the spade in just enough to get over here to the to the battery um, on the on the negative side. <clears throat> and then so this here, this is gonna go over to well this is gonna run into the cab. So we're going to string this along over here somewhere and we're going to, once we kind of get it where we need it, we're going to uh, wrap it up. So, um, I'm actually, mm, I don't know, do I want to do the switch thing? I'll have to figure if I want to do switched or if I want to put it on a key on. I'm not exactly sure. I think I have a spot where I can tie it in here. I don't know. I'll think about that part. That's That's on me, but... The point is, we're just going to make this switched, um, uh, gra uh, a switched ground. That way we don't have too big of a, of a load. We can just have all our direct power to the thing and then our ground will be switched. That's what I want to do. So, um, what I want to do is I'm going to get this relay kit hooked up all the way. And then, once it's hooked up, I'm going to touch this to that and see if it works. And then we'll come up with something to connect the ground to the pump here. And then we'll hit that and see if everything turns on. So, Real quick, so I was I'm looking for a, a connector so we can easily disconnect our ground instead of, you know, uh, having it just hardwired right in. I took the wiring harness from the Ford Econoline van and I have found this. This will be our ground. It's the same gauge wire and everything. So I'm just going to cut those, solder it up, and then uh, we'll have a connector here. <clears throat> I don't, the crimp connectors, I don't have a proper tool for crimping these, so what I do is I smash them as good as I can with vice grips. I have a bigger pair somewhere of these. I don't know where they are. Uh, anyway, I'd use those and smash these down, and then I'd solder them. This one, I, I got as much as I could with those, but I couldn't get it too far. I bent the, the put, pushed the wires through, bent them back, crimped it, and then I, this whole cavity that's in here surrounding the wire, it's full of solder. It's right full of solder, so that'll, that'll never have, have an issue with that. And then we can also disconnect it. It has a fuse here, and then, you know, we're going to have a fuse here, so that's, that's cool. Um, the connector here for our ground, it's all soldered up. I just need to uh, wrap it. And then lastly it was just these two here. Oh, the, um, the, the little skinny black ground, he's going to this ground here for the, the headlights. <clears throat> so the relay ground. Um, we're good there. So the skinny white wire, we're going to trace him somewhere over here and then hook up to my little yellow wire I got over here for my key on um, 
and then that should, when we do key on it, should activate the relay and switch the ground over, and this thing will run. And I just tested it. I, I pumped this up, ran this thing, it pumped up within just a few seconds, maybe 30 seconds. And uh, I even used the, bra the brake pedal a little bit, and the HVAC controls all move yet again. And uh, and came back over and unplugged the thing from the booster, and it, and it, and it coughed out. It went whoosh. so, and I did that like 10 minutes after I operated all that, so it, um, it's not leaking so far. Okay, aside from wrapping up the grounds, we got our ground here is hooked up, ground supply, ground going to the thing. This is our turn on wire that I'm holding right here. We got power here. So if I touch this to the battery here, that pump should turn on. See? I'm like, whatever, but. It does vibrate a little bit. Nice. Cool. That that worked out great. And uh, we'll s I got it's all pumped up now, so we'll see how long that lasts. Okay. Hooked up from the booster, run across the engine. We got our adapter. All the wires We're soldered in here. This is my turn on. <clears throat> Hopefully that works. We'll find out here in a moment. I kept clicking this over, and it was uh, not coming on. But this is clicking, so I know it's holding. Hey, 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 hey! I could have just jumped over that thing. Anyways, I'll try it out here in a moment after I uh, zip tie everything up. Make sure we don't have any, not touching the exhaust or anything. So this has been sitting for about ten minutes since I've turned it. Um, since I pumped it up. Yep, relay works. <clears throat> and then pump comes on. I'm holding the brakes down. That's so nice. Until it turns off. Oh, yeah. That, that switches over way faster now. Yay, it works! And click. Yeah. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, now the big test is, uh, does it hold vacuum overnight, you know, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to zip tie everything up as I just said I was going to do and didn't do, and pick up all my tools, and then me and Adam, we're going to go do some shenanigans with this truck. Okay, so that's going to conclude this video. We'll d I'll do a review later of, of how everything works, and I'll uh, share with, with you guys um, how the brakes work. Right now in manual form, I got a brand new booster, not that that matters, but a brand new master cylinder. And uh, the brakes, they're, it's a hard pedal, but you know, they, they work fine. They work great, <laughs> even in manual with the uh, non uh, 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 booster that doesn't have any vacuum. So now we'll find out um, how good they work with uh, actual vacuum. And we just saw that the HVAC controls work great and they work um, they're more responsive than what they were before and that's because I had fixed a vacuum leak um, a few months ago and I'll show you where that was you have all your vacuum stuff from the you know the reservoir and whatnot all comes into here these little hoses here well two there was two actually no just the one it was this one here it was cracked and so it was just leaking all the vacuum out that's what killed my pump 
So I've got a piece of clear tubing into uh, some Honda vacuum tubing that goes in there and then I went under under here inside under the dash and popped that line out of the connector and, and put my new line in and that uh, seems to have fixed the leak and we're all good here nice and snug I, I want to do something different about this later but as long as it doesn't come off I think I'll be fine um, yeah so uh, that's that's way that's the way the cookie crumbles so anyways if you'd like to see more please hit the subscribe button and and you can watch my videos more yeah <laughs> Uh, stay tuned for more. We're going to have another video later where I, uh, I talk a lot about the brakes. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I'm pretty happy. And thanks again, Todd Boak, for the vacuum pump. And I know he's going to be like, no, thank you for helping. And I'm like, okay, well. Welcome. So, anyways, uh, catch you next time.